Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Swifters, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about the upcoming zombie map Origins like everyone else on YouTube, but in this video, I believe I'm going to be addressing something that no one has addressed before. No one has really talked about this, so I do believe I am the first to kind of discuss this topic, but be sure to correct me if I'm wrong. So in this video, I'm going to be discussing the movable tank which our players can ride and go to different locations of the map. Specifically about the tank, I'm going to be addressing who could possibly be controlling the tank, who's driving it, is it one of our four characters, or is there a fifth character that Cherik is yet to inform us of. All of this, I'll be addressing later in this video, so be sure to stay tuned. So on our first zombie map for Black Ops 2, we have Transit, and on Transit, we have our bus which is being controlled by none other than our robot friend, Ted. So in transit we have Ted driving our bus and the bus on transit takes us to different locations of the map and allows us to play in different areas. I think that the tank in Origins will be the exact same concept as the bus on transit but I do think we'll be able to utilize the tank more efficiently as opposed to the bus on transit. So going back to the first trailer that Treyarch released for the Apocalypse map, we have our first look at the Origin zombie map, we also have our first look at the tank and everything new with the zombie map, and we see our four characters riding the tank. That means that none of them are controlling the tank, so we either have a fifth character that Treyarch is yet to inform us of driving this tank, or we have Ted returning, or we have a robot, or we have something of that nature returning to be driving this tank. I'm not entirely sure who it is, but I do have some theories. Now I know I mentioned Ted from Transit earlier in this video, but to be honest I don't think Ted will be making a return, I think Ted was specific to the map Transit and specific to the bus itself. Now the theory I have in regards to who could possibly be controlling the bus or driving the bus is related to this letter you guys can see on screen. As you guys can see this letter is from Dr. Richthofen, I'm not going to analyze the letter, however I am going to be focusing on the underlined portion of the letter. I know it's hard to read, but the underlined portion says the journal of Pablo Marines has been a most valuable source of information. Now when I did my breakdown of Richthofen's letter, I wasn't entirely sure who Pablo Marines was, but I came to the conclusion that Pablo Marines was the unknown Mexican that was tested on in the 935 experiments with Nikolai, Takio, and Dempsey. Now for those of you who don't know, in the zombie storyline, there was an unknown test subject that was actually killed during the 935 experiments. No one knew exactly who this unknown test subject was, the only information we had on the individual was that he was a male of Mexican or Spanish descent. Now considering this map takes place in the year of 1918, I'm led to believe that that unknown test subject is still alive during this time. I believe that Pablo Marines was that unknown test subject, also known as the Mexican, who was actually killed later in the 935 experiments. I know it's extremely stereotypical of me to put the name Pablo Marines to a Mexican man or a member of Spanish descent, however that's the only conclusion that I could come up with, so I'm extremely sorry if I did offend anyone. Now if you guys haven't put the pieces together already, I think that Pablo Marines is going to be the individual who's controlling this tank. I think Pablo is going to be inside the tank, driving it, talking to us throughout the map, maybe giving us some hints to the easter egg along the way. So that's my theory as to who I think is going to be controlling the tank, I don't think it's Ted, I don't think it's one of our four characters, I don't think the tank's going to be run by itself, I do think that Pablo Marines is going to be the individual who is controlling this tank. So I'm extremely curious as to what you all think about this idea, do you think Pablo's controlling the tank, who do you think is controlling the tank? Be sure to leave your thoughts below in the comment section. Also I'm extremely close to 5000 subscribers, so if we can hit 5000 subscribers before Origins drops, that would be outstanding, I'd be ecstatic, so be sure to click the subscribe button. If you guys did view this video on a channel other than mine, such as a community channel, I would appreciate it if you'd click the link in the description and subscribe to my channel. The name of my channel is in the top right hand corner of the screen. I'm out guys, peace.